act like we never left BDA and I've been meaning to talk about this for a while and I've been putting it off. It's time to get into it. Double 4 Anime's channel has been terminated due to copyright strike violations and it seems that a lot of people are pretty happy about it and I'm not sure why. You can have your opinions about a YouTuber, you could either like them or you dislike them for, your, for various reasons, you know, that's, that's your prerogative. But I don't think we should be happy that someone lost so many years of work. You know, I've been hearing that he had, you know, clickbait and he did all kind of underhanded, underhanded tactics to get to where he is, which is, you know, I can't confirm any of that. Because, I mean, I didn't see any of that. This guy has been grinding for a while and he managed to, you know, attain the, the status and level where he was. And you can't be happy at that. You can't be happy at somebody losing their channel. Like as a fellow YouTuber, um, I'm devastated because the fact that um, YouTube can go after anybody, it means a, a wide array of things, okay? Because it was this stigma. YouTube only went after small channels, not the major big guys because those guys were untouchable. Well, Double Four Anime was a huge YouTuber, well, in this community anyway, and he got terminated, you know, for copyright violations. And, you know, if it was clickbait, he would have gotten terminated for co community strikes, but it was a copyright strike violation. So I ask you this, why should we be happy that this guy lost your channel? Now, even if you feel a certain type of way because you didn't, you don't like his content, you don't like the way he does things, you don't like his face or his voice, that's your opinion, that's how you feel, and that's your right. But I don't think we should be happy that this guy lost his channel. Now, he's one of the first YouTubers I saw before I started my channel, so this kind of, it kind of hurts me as well. Even though, you know, maybe he wasn't my favorite YouTuber, um, everybody has their favorite, but you have people that really like this guy, and and I'm, I'm not happy when anyone loses their channel because I know what that feels like. But let me know what you thought about, you know, Double, double Four Anime and him losing his channel because I thought it was kind of messed up. It's kind of crazy for that to happen to somebody because I know what it feels like. This guy has put into work. I hopefully he gets his channel back with the copyright stuff, live reactions. I think that's what it was. It's no defending that. It's really hard to defend that because... We know what it is at this point. The live reactions, they're not what it is. They're not what's up. Companies do not like that. YouTube does not, is not going to stand for that. So it's unfortunate he lost his channel. I really don't like the fact that he lost his channel. It is what it is. But let me know what you thought about Double Four Anime losing his channel. I think it's unfortunate. Um, I did mention him as, you know, one of the Yonkos in the anime community. You know, basically because of how polarizing he is. You have people that really like him or people that really hate him. And I really don't get why you would hate somebody you really never met. You know, is this someone you see on YouTube or see on, you know, a computer or whatever? It's like, why would you hate this person? I don't think um, that, you know, that's the reason to hate somebody. Like, hate is a strong word. You know, maybe dislike, not my favorite, whatever. But that's, you know, that's all your opinion. And that's, you have the right to feel how you feel. But let me know what you thought. I hate to see people lose their channels. But stuff like that. I mean, the live reaction thing is like, I guess you can say you had it coming, but it's still unfortunate. Um, but yeah, like it if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That would be dope. Have a good day, people.